And there it is. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 full house catchphrases. For this list, we're looking at the phrases from the Tanner household that have reached legendary levels. By the way, how is my hair? <laughs> Perfect as usual. These are based on the relevance of the phrase to each individual character and on just how catchy they are in general. Number 10, whoa, baby. The Tanner family members aren't strangers to weird happenings. What? Why? How? Who? <laughs> Whoa, baby! And maybe this is why they've come up with a catchphrase just to express their surprise. This is one phrase the younger characters share, usually springing up when they stumble upon something unexpected. Whoa, baby! <laughs> Making this so memorable is the fact that the scene is perfectly set up for the quote to make sense. Plus, the enthusiasm with which the line is uttered makes even a mundane event seem like a really big deal. Alright, it's morning! I've been waiting all night for this! <laughs> Stephanie, it's Saturday. It's also Tooth Fairy Day. What do you do? Whoa, baby! The best occasion to hear this catchphrase has to be when it's spoken in unison, as it highlights how like-minded these characters really are. Whoa, baby! <laughs> Number nine, oh, please. The Tanner family does its best to teach their children about politeness, although Michelle seems to have a different interpretation of this. We forgot to say please. <laughs> During the earlier seasons, Michelle becomes Little Miss Attitude and employs snarky comments like these. You gotta be kidding. To illustrate this further, she throws the quote that takes this spot the family's way and adds an eye roll just for good measure. Oh, please. <laughs> this kind of cheekiness suits the youngest Tanner perfectly, as her small size is such a great contrast to this catchphrase's brazenness. Proving that she doesn't buy into any nonsense, Michelle stretches her pleases out to ridiculous lengths to make the other person feel silly. Just goes to show that while she might be small, Michelle can put anyone in their place. I'm gonna call the hairy, scary monster. Oh, please. <laughs> Number eight, no way, Jose. No way, Jose. It's easy to fool kids into believing something that isn't true. In the case of little Michelle, though, it's easier said than done. Well, pretty soon he's gonna turn into a beautiful butterfly. No way, Jose. <laughs> it's true, Magoo. Around the time that she begins to have new experiences in her short life, Michelle finds it difficult to believe the things she's told. As part of her naivete, she uses this phrase while refusing to acknowledge certain truths or just to annoy her siblings. Michelle, aren't you tired of the shadow game yet? No way, Jose. <laughs> On other occasions, it's Michelle's way of putting her foot down, especially when she doesn't want to follow the adult's orders. More often than not, it's her open-mouthed reaction to being proven wrong that makes this so hilarious. It's also fun to see just how the family will counter Michelle's disapproval each time. I'm not going to preach Oh, yes you are, honey. No way, Jose. No one likes me. Number seven, watch the hair. If there's one thing that will never change about everyone's favorite uncle, it's the obsession he has with his hair. Just tell me one thing. My hair messed up? Not only does he consider his locks as his greatest pride, he also makes it a rule to keep a certain distance. In order to make this clear, Jesse has a habit of telling people to watch it when someone gets too close for comfort. Oh, 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 watch the hair. <laughs> this gets to the point where protecting his hair becomes first priority, even when his life might be under threat. <laughs> Mainly, though, it's Jesse's hilarious paranoia that makes it totally worth it when he does utter this catchphrase. The family's aware of this part of Jesse so much that he even says it in their fantasies. Why am I saying this? Because it's my fantasy, Jess. Nelson! No, wait, Nelson, go. I'm a sensitive guy, Nelson. Watch the hair, Nelson, the hair. <laughs> Number six, you're in big trouble, mister. Mr. <laughs> Only Michelle can make stating the obvious seem so funny. During the time the youngest Tanner daughter was learning to speak, this was the longest sentence she could string together. Usually said when a big problem takes place, Michelle is there to remind us of the gravity of the situation. Hey, you stole my clown light. Michelle, I just needed to borrow it. 
That's mine. You're in big trouble, mister. Other times it serves as an empty threat, as she uses it as a warning when she's being done wrong. Making every occasion so memorable are Michelle's mannerisms, resembling a strict parent telling off naughty children. It doesn't matter who she's talking to. When Michelle thinks they've done something wrong, they're definitely in trouble with her. <laughs> You're in big trouble, mister. Number five. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my Lanta? <laughs> there aren't many ways to convey so many emotions with one phrase, other than perhaps this one. A catchphrase of DJ's, it's used every time the eldest Tanner sibling needs to let out her feelings. Initially starting out as a method for DJ to voice her exasperation, it morphs into her go-to word for any situation. From conveying her happiness to times where she's stuck in a situation, this is definitely DJ's favorite form of expression. However, she tends to reserve the catchphrase especially for when she's feeling a little flirty. I see your picture every day in house of your great-grandfather. You are even more beautiful in person. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> it seems her reliance on the phrase only grew with age, as the adult DJ is known for using it too. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> Number four, cut it out. Oh, come on, cut it out. <laughs> resident jokester of the household, Joey always knows how to steal the scene. And while he's best known for the many impressions he can pull off, Joey also has a catchphrase of his own. Thank you, thank you, cut it out. <laughs> Being a comedian, cut it out usually serves as a way for Joey to segue from one joke to another. On other occasions, it's a smart tactic to gain even more praise for a successful skit. Oh, come on now, cut it out, thanks. <laughs> Whether it's on stage with admiring fans or during an appearance on TV, Joey knows the right time to deliver this line. It also seems to be a quirk Joey's carried from childhood, as flashbacks featuring a younger Joey had him utter this catchphrase without fail. Is that your head? Or did your neck blow a bubble? <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, cut it out. Number three, have mercy. Have mercy. <laughs> Easily the most enduring catchphrase of a Full House character, this perfectly represents Jesse's character. Whenever Jesse lays his eyes on someone he's attracted to, he's most definitely gonna be saying this line. What a team. I forget and you remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, that's a groove in. Have mercy. At its peak during his days as a bachelor, Jesse used it to great effect on potential love interests. The phrase works just as well in several other scenarios, such as when he's feeling mischievous or when something outrageous takes place. Have mercy! For the rest of the family, this phrase is a way of life for Jesse, considering how they love to use it on him, too. For your first aunt talk, I think you crushed it. I did, didn't I? Well, you better. I gave you like a thousand uncle talks, except for you forgot two very important words. Have mercy. <laughs> No matter how young or old he might be, this will always be the most identifiable trait related to Jesse. Number two, how rude. How rude. <laughs> There's no doubt that the sassiest member of the family is none other than Stephanie. Even at a young age, the middle Tanner sibling had quips aplenty. However, this catchphrase is reserved for when she feels cornered by everyone else, making her voice out her annoyance. You mean, thanks to this woman, I spent my whole day freaking out over nothing? <laughs> How rude! The funniest bit about it is the fact that most of the time it's Stephanie who's at fault. But her stubbornness convinces her that everyone else is being rude. That's it! You two in the back row right now, come on! Move it, move it, move it! <laughs> <laughs> the charm of this quote has to be the manner in which Stephanie says it, perfectly capturing the naivete of the character. Decades later, the adult Stephanie hasn't changed much, and this remains her favorite choice of words. I was here more than my own home. <laughs> Makes me want to just kick off my shoes and put my feet up. <laughs> You know, I kind of miss catchphrases on TV. I mean, they're cheesy, but like in the good way. Number one may be one you still use, so let's check out the honorable mentions and then we'll see our top Full House catchphrase and decide if we should bring it back. Duh, because Michelle's here to make everyone look like a dummy. 
Who are you? I'm the Gimme Show. I tell you the right thing to do. Don't listen to that whip. Uh-oh, you must be the bad Michelle. Duh. Holy chalupas, because this rugrat is always in the mood for fun. Holy chalupas, they're adorable. <laughs> Hola, Tanneritos, because there's always that annoying next door neighbor you love. Hola, Tanneritos. <laughs> Sweet cheese, because sometimes there's no better way to express your feelings. <laughs> Sweet cheese, what happened to her? <laughs> it's always open, because everyone is welcome to this family. It's always open! Oh, hello, neighbor. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, you got it, dude. And I'll be happy to pay the pretend bills, okay? You got it, dude. <laughs> if there's one quote that sums up the fun-loving nature of Full House, this has to be it. You got it, dude. Although she doesn't have many lines as a toddler, Michelle steals every scene through these few words. Used in a variety of scenarios, it works best whenever Michelle wants to give something her seal of approval. And everything white goes in this pile. You got it? Got it, dude. The delivery of this quote is carefully interjected into a scene, usually as the punchline of a joke. It's not complete without the exact manner in which Michelle says it, though, as she gives the person before her a big thumbs up before uttering the catchphrase. Michelle, you, you gotta know I'm not really into this preschool gig, so don't make a big deal that I'm here, okay? You got it, dude. <laughs> It serves as a reminder of the precocious Michelle's mischievous antics and one of her most lovable quirks. Until Joey gets home and tells Dad how he left me alone with the car. Then I'm dead meat. You got it, dude. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.